What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play West of Loathing with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony. This is West of Loathing. Continue. No time to waste shooting random other things. Lockpicking 2. Why don't we have Lockpicking 2 yet? Hornswoggling's at 3. Dead Eye's, Dead Eye's at 5. But lock picking hasn't been increased yet. I know that we can do it manually. I don't want to. Though I suppose, how about we turn it off and we'll turn it back on later. Are we doing anything for the mayor? Any sign of that missing mail? Not yet. Take your leave. Okay. Missing mail, the last batch of mail. Never made it here. Do we need to just kind of like wander to find that? We want to go back to, uh... Sorry. Sorry for getting distracted. We want to go back to... Dirtwater. A few hundred yards up the trail, you see a solitary skeleton. Trudging toward the northwest, northwest. It doesn't seem to have noticed you or anything else, really. Attack it. Oh. Uh, we're, we're just gonna shoot it. That was easy. Okay. We got 10 XP, some teeth, and a gold tooth. And we get some notes done. Biggest reason to fight the skeletons is actually for Alice's notes. Followed by just the fact that we get XP for it. That lady looks angry. We're gonna send our postcard. We got a package. Thanks. Let's open that. We're gonna send our postcard and open that uh, P.O. box as well. Package from Rufus. It's a package from your younger brother Rufus. He's weird, but he's a sweet kid at heart. Open it. Portable alchemistry set. Ah, what a great kid. Actually, dear bro, I thought this might you might be able to use this. I, I might be able to use that. You're right. Oh, this crate contains all of the reagents and fluids and stuff that you need to get up to some serious alchemisterin and the crate itself converts into a convenient bench to put them all on installs a chemistry set in your room at the jewel assemble it this isn't a good place to set this thing up you'll want to do it where you live okay so i actually have to go to the jewel it doesn't install it at the jewel you can just only assemble it if you are at the jewel that makes sense uh I'd like to send a postcard already. Let's have it. That'll be, it's one of the prepaid ones, zero meat then, thanks. And found PO box 114, for which you found the key at Fort Treason. Open box 114. You open the box, it's empty except for a single sheet of cardstock with columns of numbers on it in tiny print. You got an item, Fort Treason ballistics chart. Hmm. All right. What else do we want to do? Who are we going after here? What's the good word? Just wanted to say hi. We've done four out of five. We'll take a look at that. We've only captured two, unfortunately. Is the last one the ghosts? A fifth wanted poster? Read it. The Gherkin Brothers. For kidnapping, bringing kidnapping victims, brining kidnapping victims, and attempting... I should have known that it was going to say that because of, you know, the fact that it's a pickle-related joke. An attempted sale of human flesh for consumption. Last seen headed for an old abandoned pickle factory. Interesting. Can't let these dastardly criminals escape justice. It wouldn't be kosher. Uh, would you like to investigate? Yes, indeed. You discovered a new map location. Oh, you marked the old pickle factory on your map. Hopefully chasing these guys down won't lead you into a real... You know. You discovered a new map location, abandoned pickle factory. Yeah. Okay, so we're going there. Don't need to walk all the way to the horse. We can just open the map. Actually, while we're here, we may as well assemble our alchemistry set. You install the alchemistry set next to the window. Looks good. What can we do here? You sit down at the alchemistry set and pull out your briefcase full of snakes and snake parts. What do you want to start with? We can make booze potions or combat items let's make combat items i on second thought let's stop chemistrizing i 
I don't know what I'm doing. Should we nap? It was pointed out that we can pet the horse if we sleep. Or we can just keep going with the current day. I don't know, like, if the if the amount of time that passes actually matters. It seems pretty liberal with your use of time so far, but it might come into play later, where, like, the fewer days have passed, it makes something else better or worse. We are trying to get to the abandoned pickle factory. That's a long way away. We filled in a lot of this map. So there's an old grave off the side of the trail, or if not, then someone went and stuck a wooden cross in the ground for no reason. It's possible. We're going to dig it up. We got <laughs> loose teeth and skull chips. Hit the trail. Ah, uh, unted pickle factory. Haunt, haunted pickle factory. It's, you know, clearly that used to say something else. I, I like that joke, though. It's the, like, Hagen United Pickle Factory. Uh, the bandits tried to hole up in the abandoned pickle factory. Woof. That's them done for. What do you mean? This place is haunted to the gills. I heard about it while I was asking around about the necromancer. Doesn't seem to be related, but it's very apparent. But it's apparently very, very dangerous. Yikes. Ooh, spooky. Look at all those clouds. Wretch of Lass. 1801 to 1879, she was very, very terrible. Wretch of Lass. I don't get it. There's a patch of pepperoni mold growing out of this grave. We still don't have foraging. As spooky as this factory is, the woods beyond it are even spookier. You should probably take your chances here. Okay, we're going in. We're gonna fight some ghosts, I guess. You feel a sudden electrical jolt as your hand touches the doorknob. Ouch. Oh no, you're late for your shift. <laughs> Mrs. Vlas is going to be so mad, she might literally bite your head off. Uh, okay, well, not literally, literally, probably. Quickly, or quick, get suited up. This is awesome. Late again? You'd better stop taking this job for granted. You think you're going to find a place with a nice dormitory and a reasonably priced company store like ours somewhere else? With your skills? Ha! You're doing three shifts today, buster. Get to work. You're on pickle hopper duty. Start your shift. Pickle Hopper Duty runs you ragged, like always. Keeping the hoppers filled to the to keep a constant flow down the chutes means you're constantly at a near sprint because you have to manage the puke shunts to keep the levels equal. If you get uneven pickle levels, Mrs. Blast knows. Nobody knows how she knows, but she knows a whack from her cane is the minimum you'll get. Damn it, damn it, damn it. At the end of the first six hour shift, you get a brief break. You cram a stale cheese sandwich into your mouth while Mrs. Vlas glares at her pocket watch, counting down three minutes to the second. Break's over, second shift. You get over to the salt tank now, oh god. Managing the salt tank isn't as strenuous as the pickle hoppers, but it's still a never ending tension. The brine concentration has to be constantly monitored and kept at a very specific measurement, which means constant adjustments. Meanwhile, you can feel yourself desiccating from the haze of salt dust that fills the room. If anything in this place kills you, it's probably gonna be salt tank duty. While well, white lung is nasty business. Cough, cough on your own time and get that salinity. Back to normal, it's supposed to be 976 parts per thousand. That's a lot. Um, how hard is that to remember? 976, idiot. Please let me out of here. You spend another 180 second break before third shift. You spend most of it drinking water. The company doesn't charge for water, but you've heard a rumor they're considering it. Breaks over, get to the boiler. Oh no, please let me out. Please. Boiler duty means shoveling coal into a furnace, a furnace that runs a giant tank of boiling vinegar. It stains in here, it stings in here. You've tried to work with your eyes closed, but Mrs. Vlas screams if you drop any coal on the floor. Uh, or if you let the temperature get too low, or too high, or just for no particular reason. At least, you, you're, at least you're used to the smell of boiling vinegar. In fact, you can't smell anything anymore. Let me out, please let me out. 190 degrees, idiot. Not 189, not 191. What do you think we pay you for? You don't really miss your sense of smell, or not coughing all the time. You don't really want anything anymore, except to die. Wow, this is depressing. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. 
Uh, with a gasp, you finally snap out of the horrible hallucination or possession or whatever the hell that was. Jeez, you can still feel the sting of vinegar vapor in your eyes. Enter the pickle factory. Do not enter the pickle factory. We're going to enter the pickle factory. We got cukes, salt, vinegar. This trash smells like gherkins. It says factory activation level. Uh, lever. Don't pull it. This trash smells like sweet pickles. This trash smells like garlic dill pickles. This trash smells like bread and butter pickles. This trash smells like dill pickles. This trash smells like half sour pickles. You don't even know what those are. Then how do I know what they smell like? This trash smells like cornichons? I don't know what that means. Cukes. Copper three, this indicator is pointing to 15. This indicator is pointing to five. This indicator is pointing to 13. You approach the ghost, gotta, gotta, can't sleep until it's right. You all right there, partner? Can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep, yikes. Warning, cuke shunts are to be operated by qualified personnel only. Cuke shunt, there's a lever here, pull it. There's a lever here, pull it. There's a lever here, pull it. I should have been writing down what was happening. Um, put him out of his misery? I don't want to kill him, but like, he does seem pretty miserable. Trying to shoot this target will hit a ghostly floating cucumber instead. Oh, I, I see. How much damage does it do though? A pretty good amount. So what I'm gonna do is hammer, fan hammer, um, this guy, that'll hit the pickle twice and him twice, once, okay. We can do 11 damage to every target. Bonesaw does nothing, so yeah. Uh, 11 damage to every target. Shoot. Pow! Whiff! So they don't seem that dangerous. And our gun does a ton of damage. If it was a regular gun, it might not do damage, but the stench damage is pretty good. Like, how much does the knife do? Three to four damage, or we can shoot it for 31 to 35. Um, which we are, of course, going to do. And another 11 damage to everyone, please. Whiff. Whiff. These pickles don't seem dangerous at all. What's up with the fourth one like on the ground there? I suppose we'll shoot this one. And then the other two. One more turn should do it. We just have to watch two whiff animations that take forever. Oh, those are the dead pickles. The dead ghost is just gone. Pow. And... Uh... Yeah, shoot. It hurts, it's, it hits everyone, so it doesn't matter where we aim. Cool. 20 XP, you got a pile of bones and cucumbers, you got an item, ghost cowboy hat. Hooray. How close are we to being able to get or uh, lock picking up? Pretty close. We need another 87 XP. Not bad. All right, I don't remember what these levels need to be at. Let's check out the other two rooms. Can I go through the hallucination again? Salt. The salinity meter reads 531 PPT. Salt adjustment, the salinity, this, okay. Coarse salt adjustment, fine salt adjustment, and salt adjustment. This, I remember, needs to be at 976. 631. 731. Oh, come on. 831. 931. Okay. I'm assuming we have to get all these levels to the cor correct values. Then we need to... Um... Activate the factory in the main room. Salt, salt, salt. We gotta salt the salt. Uh, the salt is correct. It's finally done, thank you. Oh no. Salt crusted skull, rest in peace. 
We could have adjusted. Oh. Does he come back? I think we ruined something. The hoppers. What do they need to be at? Oh, jeez. This is gonna suck. You approach the ghost. It's not right, it's not right. Yeah, right there, partner. All wrong, the temperature, it's not right, it's all wrong, not right at all. All right then, you do you. Oh, nope. <laughs> all right then, do you, all wrong. Ah, okay. Um, 93 degrees. It's a bit of coal with a shovel in it. Take the shovel, you got an item, shovel. We have two shovels now. Uh, add some coal. You add some coal to the furnace, it got one shovel full of coal in it. 93 degrees. Pump it. You pump the bellows, the coal burns away, and the vinegar heats up by two degrees. Does it need to be at 90 or 190? Turn it. Hiss. Some steam is released. 85. Okay. Pump it. There's no coal in the furnace. I think it needs to be at 90. Three shovelfuls. It went up by seven. Turn it. 82. Okay. So we're gonna do four shovelfuls and pump it? It's a puzzle. I don't know how to solve it, so we're just gonna guess. I could do the math. Or three shovelfuls, pump it, we're at 90. You approach the ghost, it's not right, it's not right. Uh Okay, 90 is not correct. Oops. It's it's 190, isn't it? I know it's 90, not like 80 or 70 or anything like that. It's got to be One ninety. Oh, so close. Add some coal. Pump it. We're at ninety six. We turn it. It goes down by ten. We need to get it up by four. We do six. Pump it. No, it goes it goes up exponentially, so I don't I don't know how to control it that well. Turn it again, or maybe not exponentially, but not evenly. I know three scoops is seven degrees, but six scoops is 33 degrees. So close. Four scoops. I just need to get it to an even 10. So let's go two scoops. I don't wanna get it too hot. It might break or something. Three scoops. 18, is it random? What is going on? Come on, just get to an even 10. 39. So it goes up by two every single scoop. Or, I mean six, sorry. Ah, uh, so two scoops, pump it. We do need to let some out. Uh, uh, leave him to his misery. Two o five. I'm gonna add four scoops. I feel like I'm doing something wrong because I definitely am. I'm definitely doing something wrong. Let's let some steam out. I'm gonna go with. Three. No, I. <laughs> I gotta read that message next time it pops up. Maybe it just won't heat up any more than that. Oh my god. I need to rethink my life. You add some coal to the furnace. 195 degrees. 17. It's 212. That's like the boiling point of water.
24. 230. 1, 2, 3, 4. 190. You approach the ghost. It's not right. The vinegar is at 190 degrees. Finally done. Thank you. The ghost smiles as he fades away. A few bones hit the ground below it. You got vinegar soaked bones. Rest in peace. Okay. Pukes. I don't even remember what this is supposed to be. Puke shunts are to be operated by qualified personnel only. Can we remember the story? Can we redo the story? I don't want to know what happens if you activate it. Uh, pull it. Pull the lever and nothing happens. Okay, rats. That's good. We get infinite tries, supposedly. Talk to your partner. Nothing new. Okay. Um. 15, 5, 13. Do they just need to be even? Oh, that's easy. Okay. This raises that but lowers those. Raises that but lowers those. Gotta pull this once and then pull this once. Nope. That looks even enough. 10, 12, 11. Crap. 13, 11, 9. 12, 11, 10. Wait a second. Okay. 12, no, 11, 12, 10. My problem solving skills are usually much better than this. 14, so that increases by two, lowers by one. I see. That's at nine. That's at 10. It's an odd amount. How are they supposed to be even? 11, 13, nine. Maybe they just, no, I'm confused. Okay, let's raise this one. 10, 12, 11. Is that close enough? I don't know what the goal is. Rats. Gosh dang it. This one needs to go up, but not by that much. 11, 12, 10. That's not correct, but we gotta try. I should go back and rewatch. <laughs> my video read the story again warning puke shunts are to be operated by qualified personnel only they have to be constantly monitored kind of think back on what it said but I cannot. Okay, which is the lowest? This is at 11, this is at 12, this is at 10. This will go up to 12, but this will go down to 10 and this will go to 11. It just clicks, 23, Six, four. Bring this up by two, and then hmm, twenty-one, seven, five. Oh, okay. I see something interesting. Ten, twenty-two. Did it just give us numbers to reach? Am I, am I going crazy? 
Is there any way to remember what was said? Do I have a... Do I, did I write anything down? I can't believe I killed that ghost. There's no other, like, hints anywhere that I can see. trying something okay so now it's at 11 10 12 that's not helpful at all one 16 16 17 15 1 16, 16, 1. Three, 15, 15. I've gotten those two the same. Wait, I'm an idiot. It doesn't need to be an even number. It needs to be a multiple of three, and it is, and I'm on my way there. Seven, 13, 13, so then nine. I mean, it, the, the total value is a multiple of three. I was, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so wait, we're at 12, 12, nine. When we pull this, we'll be at 11, 11, 11. 11, 11, 11, oh my God, okay, I figured it out. Pull it. You pull the lever and there's a deafening roar as the old machinery springs to life. After a while, a load of pickles is deposited in the receptacle to the left, to the left of the switch. You got an item. Ghost pickle times three. Huh? All that work was for three pickles. No wonder this place went out of business. Yep. You've already activated the pickle pack, pickle factory and made some pickles. There's no pickle ingredients left to make pickles out of, even if pickle actually seemed like a word at this point. Oh yeah. Oh well. Okay. So there's no Gherkin Brothers. The Bandits tried to hole up in this abandoned pickle factory. Woof. That's them done for. What do you mean? Blah, blah, blah. Yikes. Let's go back. I feel like those might have been the Gherkin Brothers. The ghosts that we freed and or killed. So... You have it upon an abandoned crate, which apparently fell off a wagon. Or something, since the lid has been knocked loose. You know what that means. It's mine all mine. You fish through uh, the crate and help yourself to the contents, which appears to be mining gear. So you were even more right than you knew. Mine. All mine. Thermos of spiked coffee and dynamite. Sweet. Well, I solved that puzzle that I should have solved way easier. Cactus Bill, didn't expect to see you around these parts. I thought it was weird that he was here. Well, I gotta admit, I got a little envious when I saw you leave Boring Springs and I figured I'd hitch a ride out west to see what I could see. And just look at this place. So much hustle, so much bustle. There sure is a lot of both of those. Yeah. Hey, nice pot. Thank you kindly. So what's new? Well, to be honest, what's new is the profound sense of longing and loneliness. I'm sorry to hear that, Bill. Well, it is what it is. I was hoping I'd run across a similarly lonely cactus lady somewhere out there. Or failing that, a normal human l lady looking to marry a cactus. No luck? Not yet. Of course, getting around is a bit of a challenge, but us cactuses live a long time. I'm sure I'll meet somebody. Someday. I'll keep an eye out. Heck, I sure would appreciate it. Take your leave. So actually, it's very true. Those cactuses live for hundreds of years. Uh, saguaro cactuses. Not yet, Bill. Sorry. Didn't mean to talk to you. Uh, they don't grow their first limbs until like 80 years old. I want to hit up the jail here. We didn't take care of it, apparently. Nobody's in the cell. I love how much my head moves when I walk. Read it. Go get him. Okay. 
I guess we didn't solve that quite yet, but that is all for now. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next episode.